Welcome to episode 14 of Therese Talk. I'm your host, Therese Main. By day, I co-host a morning radio show on a network of stations across New York and Pennsylvania. By nights, I podcast. <laughs> if you're a woman like me who loves Jesus and just wants to serve her family and community a little bit better, you're in the right place. I can't believe it's already February. Did you know this is National Snack Food Month? Now, there's a lot we can learn from the snack food aisles at the grocery store especially when it comes to our faith. Don't believe me? Well, let's go shopping. All right, we're starting at the crackers. There's saltines and those club crackers. Ooh, Ritz. I love that name, Ritz. It sounds fancy, right? Ritz. (laughs) But it's not. They're just like regular crackers, right? A lot of people get tripped up about Jesus in that way. They think he's only for a certain kind of people, like perfect people or cleaned up people, people who've got their stuff all together. But he's not. He's for all people. And when he walked on earth, he made a point to hang out with the kind of people who just eat like regular crackers. Or I guess it would have been like matzah then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you're a fancy brie or if you're an American cheese in a spray can, (laughs) either way, it's all good on a Ritz. And Jesus loves you. Ready to hit up the cookies? Ooh, Oreos, my favorite pandemic food. (laughs) This is for sure. There's regular, there's double stuff, and then there's mega stuff. I feel like they should be called triple stuff because if they were, that would remind me of the Trinity, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But by the way, those thin Oreos, what is that even about? Okay. Hey, have you ever noticed the word stuff only has one F on the Oreo package? According to Reddit, it's because the properly spelled double stuff is already trademarked by the Pacific Coast Feather Company. They make down pillows, which reminds me that if you're weary, come to Jesus. He's going to give you rest. Way better than a double stuffed pillow. All right, candy aisle, you ready? M&Ms, they melt in your mouth, not in your hands. There's Hershey, chocolate bars, chocolate with nuts, because we're all little nuts, right? Ooh, the kisses, because you know the Bible says to greet one another with a holy kiss. Skittles, taste the rainbow, for sure. Noah's favorite candy, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the chip aisle. We love chips, right? Lay's, no one can eat just one. Uh, You might want to work on your self-control there. Oh, also, there is only one way to heaven, and it's Jesus. Oh, look, Funyuns. (laughs) Have you ever had Funyuns? They taste like onion rings, but that word Funyuns, it's kind of a funny word. We've got some of those words at church, you know, like narthex and vestibule. Do we even know what those things really are? Okay, there's bugles. Bugles are like little megaphones to tell everybody about the gospel. There's sun chips. Those should be S-O-N chips, if you know what I mean. Pirate's booty? Uh, No, pass. Looky here. There's Doritos. Doritos come in regular and Cool Ranch. It's kind of how different churches can use different versions of the Bible and still teach the gospel and minister to their communities. We'll get some of those Doritos. Ooh, finally, Fritos. I love Fritos, right? They make me think of the free gift of salvation that we have in Jesus. You just have to ask him. So whether you're grabbing snacks for the big game or just stocking up on your secret pandemic stash, that's not really a secret. There's a lot that we can learn from snack foods. Basically, when you keep your mind on God, anything can be a good lesson, right? If you've enjoyed this episode of Therese Talk, be sure to subscribe and look for the next episode on Tuesday morning. And if you really loved it, consider making a gift to Family Life, the ministry this podcast is a part of. Just go to fln.org to find out more about what we do or just stick a bunch of snack foods in a box and send them to me. (laughs) Talk to you next week.